The ghosts of shifting past came back to haunt her in Belfast. Maura, what's your mystery topic this week? Can I just jump in there before we start the mystery topic? Can you tell us what happened in Belfast, Maura? Okay, the lovely Lauren was chatting to people outside mm-hmm. and one of the people she was chatting to, uh, a chap named Frankie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had met Frankie previously. Where? Really? You met Frankie before? At one of your gigs, the Whelan's gig. Okay. Wow. And we had shared a taco chip and... And? Maybe, you know, lob the gob a little bit. So... Oi, oi, oi. Now, I hadn't gotten Frankie's number or anything, so or his contact details. So it was a bit of a surprise to see him at the Belfast gig. Uh, on screen. On screen, <laughs> yes, because we played the video of it uh, while I was on stage. And then Frankie stood up in the audience and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it feels like to have a panic attack in public. Fanny <laughs> flutters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he didn't have quite that effect on me. Oh, so. oh. yeah. Okay. So. But anyway, he has a girlfriend now, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope she's not listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor <laughs> old Frankie. Okay, Mara. Okay, I missed your topic this week. Uh, okay. You're still gonna hate me for this, but oh, anyway. Oh, <laughs> fuck it, anyway. <laughs> uh, my n- namesake, Mora from Love Island. Um, I've been thinking about this, and I can't stop thinking about Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> on Love Island she actually told the nation how many people she had slept with she had only slept with five people we're just going to stop this right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you believe her uh, well she was in a long term relationship for eight years and she said one of them was a woman so no oh, that spices things up I guess yeah <laughs> I have no reason not to believe her so <laughs> but it kind of got me thinking I was well, like on that note I'm a virgin <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I w- like do you think you should ever tell your other half or do you think men even want to know would it be an issue how many uh, sexual partners your person, the person you're with has had previously okay. to commencing a relationship with you? That is, that is a fair difficult question. What you don't know won't hurt you mm. is mm. a quote I like to use. <laughs> 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 I think most people do. Like if you meet a girl and say it, you know, she's not from your hometown. Mm. Yeah. Then, like, you know, she could be saying, oh, I was with fucking two lads before you or whatever, and you'd be like, Jesus, this is great. Like, yeah. I think the problem comes if it's a girl from your hometown and four or five of your friends are after dipping her as well. <laughs> you know, they're after... <laughs> <laughs> four or five of your friends are after being with her as well. Yeah. You know, that's... I think that's... That's something <clears throat> I'd struggle to live with myself personally. But then, you Why? know, the past is the past. Yeah, but like I can make an argument for both, but I'm j- I'm just a jealous guy, you know. <laughs> See, would you be worried how you'd compare it to the previous? Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, <laughs> in length. <laughs> with, um, ah, uh, Johnny. No, ah, uh, Johnny. No, come here. <clears throat> if she's only, she's with like a couple of lads, you know, but that was it. So yeah. that like, okay, yeah. If yeah. you met her like age twenty five, and yeah. she said, right, I've been with five lads, and you happen to know them all. Yeah, like it, 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 right. It won't hold me back, but I, I, I'd, I'd have it in the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would hold me back. Would you ever ask girls to be so? How many, how many people have you? Hey, you know, really? No, I, I, I would never ask. Yeah, never. I already asked. And if she asked you, would you tell her? Yeah. Can't, <laughs> <laughs> can't you remember give, half you give her a rough estimate. <laughs> 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 no, I mean <laughs> ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> I I would never ask because I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. Look, <clears throat> what's in the past is in the past. But I I I did. I went out with a girl, mm. and before I'd met her beforehand, she'd been with one of the boys. Like, mm. never really bothered me. Yeah. You're talking more so about friends. That would be more of an issue than the actual number. So yeah. she said <clears throat> she'd slept with twenty lads, and you'd only slept with. 15 lads or 15 women <laughs> would that bother you uh, it would only bother me if they were like oh I've been with like 100, 100 people like, yeah you know yeah I, I think from what I've heard and from the Love Island experience mm. people as they're coming up now mm. have bigger numbers yeah I think uh, sex yeah sex has become more like I won't say readily uh, flippant yes yes I would yeah it's definitely less say bit, that less doesn't, doesn't make a deal now yeah yeah no. Like, 
I'd be kind of a little bit of a prude about that, but like, would you, would it be people you know, or would it be numbers like you? you know? Numbers, yeah. Yeah. Well, just like, where would you draw the line? Yeah. I'm so gonna flip this back on you no, now. But it depends on the age of the person, say. Yeah, because like, so I'm in my thirties. Like, if you met a lad say, and he was same <sighs> age as you. Oh, like yeah, again, like the hundreds. Like if he had been like, if he was going out every weekend and riding a bird, I'd be like, yeah. Like you have STDs yeah. Or you've had STDs You know I think Would you be wondering like What's wrong with you <laughs> Also Probably hard to turn that off So lad is yeah. Shagging every weekend For like 10 years And then okay. he starts going out with you You're like can Yeah I, Can I trust him And then you Like it'd probably get boring for him though Would it If he was used to I don't really know If he's used to I don't know what way man's brain works Like I don't know I, I have no idea <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah. Let's let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? Writing gets better if you're doing it with the same person for a while. Yeah. Like we were watching that show on, on Netflix, and they interview women on like, mm. you know, on a one night stand, what percentage of women climax, and <coughs> it's, it's like single figures. Oh god, yeah. No, you'd. Yeah, it's shite. I would imagine. Yeah, you. You need to be in a situation where a guy, you have time and space for a guy to figure out how to push your buttons, and yeah. you know. Because every woman's different. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like taking up a new sport. You can't be good at it straight away. <laughs> it takes a bit of training. Yeah, I don't think... It, oh. I don't think it would bother me too much unless she said like a mental number. Yeah. I think it would bother me more if he had a reputation for being a bit of a Casanova. Ah, you can get And my dad reputation. knew that he was a bit of a Casanova. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. that'd be like... No, no, he's grand. He's not like that anymore. And you just be like, mm. that's true. Well, that Maura, speaking from experience, it is easy to pick up a reputation. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I do think you shouldn't really judge people by numbers anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say, like, <laughs> what kind of an answer is this to, to tell us? The numbers wouldn't bother me unless they're real high. Yeah. And it wouldn't bother me if she was with me friends. Unless she was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's the best way I can put it. I'd have to... It depends, yeah, but if she'd been with, like, Jock Ice, who's, like, carrying a sledgehammer in his pocket, like... Ah, <laughs> oh, sure, he'd only be... I'd be drilling a pile of hole for that, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, definitely, we should throw this out to the listeners and get their thoughts on yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's the juicy one. Gives, gives your thoughts on that one. Yeah. Doesn't matter about their past. Yeah. And, like, if you're in a long-term relationship and you're going to say you're going to marry this person, like... Would you want to know the previous number or not? And I, I think I'd rather not. But maybe, mm. I don't. Ignorance is bliss. At the same time. Also, I think we all, everyone likes to be like, I'm a pretty good judge of character, <laughs> <laughs> and we're not like, I'm a terrible judge of character. I just like to say, you know, I'm a pretty good judge of character. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> yeah. So, what about it? Right. Let's pick an age. Twenty, oh. twenty-five, thirty. Takes this in. How many is too many? Yeah. Yeah, lads and ladies, what's the number that's too far? Okay, can I give mine and then mm. so yeah. twenty? If you were twenty and he was twenty, okay. Well, oh, fuck. I didn't do anything before I was twenty, but then twenty-five, uh, maybe kind of, try and have like one or two t- long-term relationships in there. Maybe one hand, two hands, <laughs> thirty, maybe. Double that again? <laughs> yeah. No, don't look to us. No, <laughs> you need to not give your numbers back. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we'll let the listeners, we'll put this out to the public. So It's, it's a democracy good. here. I don't know. Ideally, I guess, I don't know. I'd be hoping for less than 20. I don't know. Yeah. What? I don't know. It depends on the situation. Depends like. where you're looking. Some people don't get married until they're 50 or don't find yeah. the one until, you know, they're 50 or 60. So Jesus, mm. you'd, you'd have big numbers then. So I suppose it'd be kind of irrelevant when you get to that age. So. Horses for courses. <laughs> yeah, if, if you want to shag us, text me. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is interesting. Yeah, that is. I I think we're going to get this. This isn't the last we'll have talked about oh, this. Oh yeah, you, Mara has dropped a grenade on yeah. the Two Johnny's podcast. <laughs> Fucking hell! Get in touch. <clears throat>